our day game, the one thing men would love to be successful at, but most struggle big time to start. There is a surprisingly large amount of anxiety that goes into starting day game in your local hometown or city. But what would your experience be like if you considered practicing in a different city for a short while, or at least to begin with? That is the question for today's video. My name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And for the last 16 years, I have been working behind the scenes with all the top dating and pickup coaches, helping them with not just their businesses, but also their clients with overcoming anxiety. Now, if you're new here, welcome. And if you like what you hear, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay up to date on future anxiety videos. So something that was once a problem for me, and I'm sure you can relate to it as well, is the irrational fear that by talking to strangers on the street, somehow someone I knew would see me approach a stranger and then word would get around to my social circle. Or perhaps it turns out that the lady that I stopped to speak to knows someone that I know. Now, in all of my years of approaching, this has never happened, and for good reason too. London is an incredibly large city with an ever-changing population, so the likelihood of ever running into someone a second time was always incredibly thin. But the thing is, is that there are many guys out there who don't live in such a fortunate city. The population is much smaller, and there is more of a chance that everyone knows each other in that city. And if you're not approaching right, you could become the talk of the town. This is where practicing at the start of your day game journey in a different city can do wonders for your confidence. You get a complete fresh slate with a near 100% chance that no one there will know you. And why would they? You're in a completely different city. And that anonymity leads to a number of things that play out in your favor. For starters, most people naturally become more confident whilst they're in a different city. As you're forced out of your comfort zone, you are encouraged to take action and do things that you wouldn't normally do. So people then tend to take more chances with practicing their social skills, take more risks, and worry less about making any mistakes. This Ballsier mindset then accelerates a guy's confidence even faster, making him more comfortable and very likely more successful with every woman that he speaks to. The added bonus is if his approaches go horribly wrong for whatever reason. So we're talking like the worst case scenario here and they'll never be as bad as men think they'll be. That once he leaves the city, his mistakes do not follow with him. Now, with those points in mind, how do you implement going to a different city? Well, for starters, decide, are you going alone or with a friend? And which cities would you like to go to? Going abroad isn't necessary. And regularly going to different cities can certainly get quite expensive. So plan to go somewhere that you'd be interested in visiting and hopefully has a high population. That way you could plan to go for a week long visit. But if the population has a low number, then I'd probably recommend go for three or four days over a weekend. The next scariest step would be to commit. Book in the travel and accommodation for wherever it is that you're planning to go. Now, it might be nerve wracking for you to commit to, but you should be very proud of taking that step. In particularly, if it's something that you're just not used to doing. Once you're booked in, you are officially out of your comfort zone and you have no choice but to take action and venture to your chosen city. Once the day arrives for you to travel, go easy on yourself and give yourself plenty of time to get to your destination. I've known a lot of guys who just doing this tends to be a big step for them. So do make sure to reward yourself once you get to your chosen city. The next and one of the final steps is to explore the city and start setting yourself very simple goals. Make the most out of the city by challenging yourself to talk to strangers and warm yourself up to cold approaching. Being a tourist in a different city makes for a great conversation with people and gives you plenty of icebreakers to use. So feel free 
to ask for directions or guides to places or even recommendations. And on top of that, try to discover new routes and locations in that city that you would like to practice your cold approaching in. The final step, of course, is to make the most out of your time and practice. Utilize the time as much as you possibly can. Make sure that you get a good night's rest the night before and have a good solid breakfast in the morning. No coffee. I mean it. And take with you all of the courage and morale that you need for you to practice talking to women in a completely different city. A final thought to consider once you do get back home is to try and maintain this new momentum that you've created for yourself. You don't need to be approaching every single person in your city, especially if it's small, but do be mindful of the people that you can speak to in your everyday life. It's incredible the results that men can get and the confidence that they can maintain just from simply doing a handful of approaches sporadically during the week. And if ever in doubt or worst case scenario, you can always go and travel to another city again. What are your thoughts on this video? Have you ever experienced the mindsets that I once had? And which cities besides London have you enjoyed practicing talking to strangers in? Let me know in the comments below.